Hey yo, what's going on boys and girls, ladies and gents, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of you guys asked about and so I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about what baits I flip around some cover for bass. Also what I really look for when it comes to, you know, flipping trees and everything on the bank and figuring out what those fish are on, figuring out a pattern because I know it sounds really simple as, you know, you see a tree on a bank, you see this, this and that, you can just go flip a crawl, flip, flip a worm, whatever it is and catch them. But it's really not that simple because there's a lot of key factors that if you put them together correctly, you can catch more bass. Let's go ahead and get this video started. The first thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is obviously rigging, what I use, and also the rod and reel. Because I know you guys are really curious about that. So I'm going to be talking about the line, the bait, hook weight, that whole deal. And uh, if you guys are wondering, this is a fake chrome by 13 Fishing. I prefer when I'm sitting here, I'm not, I don't know if you guys know much about Savannah River, that's actually where I'm at right now. There's not many big fish out here. I'm not sitting here flipping around and throwing this bait around some super, super thick stuff that, you know, I wanna need like a heavy rod. So I actually use a medium heavy from seven foot all the way to seven foot three, medium heavy. That's my personal preference. That's my favorite rod of all time. Most of the rods I own are seven three medium heavies. Um, seven foot, seven foot, three medium heavies. And this is a fake chrome by 13 fishing. I have it paired up with the Concept Z. This is a seven three to one gear ratio reel. Um, I tend to stick to around seven three to one gear ratio reels all the way up to eight one to ones. I usually don't go to six four to ones or five one to ones. I just keep it really basic, really simple around seven one to ones, seven three to ones. I just control it by my hand. If I need to slow my bait down, that's what I usually do. Um, so that's what I'm using. If you guys are wondering what line I'm using, this is actually something that you guys need to know, is 15 pounds Seaguar fluorocarbon. This is Invisex. Best line out there. That's literally what I've used the past five, six years. I love it, absolutely love this stuff. It's a little bit more money, but I promise you, you'll get your money's worth because it's gonna last a lot longer. And you can use up to 20 pound, I'd say, around 15 to 20 pound is really good when flipping around this stuff. And I know you guys are wondering what I got on. So I just have a standard old little Texas rig. Let me get a little close shot for you guys. As you guys can tell, it's just pegged right there on the end. Just a little half ounce of weight, just a little lead weight. I don't use any tungsten or anything out here. I'm on the river, just super inexpensive, little lead weight, half ounce. I have a little EWG hook, this is three out. And right now I have a little Senko on right there. That's actually black and blue. So I have a few packs of baits right here I would like to talk about and pretty much why I would use them. So on my, on my rod right now, I actually have a Senko. This is just a Yum Dinger. Um, Alan Bob's actually behind the camera and these are his. And these are just regular black and blue, perfect for dirty water. And then I have a few packs of Rage Crawls right here. One pack's in June Bug, one pack's in black and red. When you guys are fishing dirty water, I'm gonna add this in just in case you guys are really curious about this. When you're fishing dirty water, there's three colors I really go to, is black and blue, red and black, and also a standard old June bug. I pretty much go out here and fish both of these baits. I fish a Senko and I fish a Crawl, and I really figure out what they're gonna eat. I know it sounds crazy when throwing around all this stuff and fishing certain baits. Usually they'll eat a Crawl or they'll eat a Worm. It's a slow moving bait, whatever it is. But I've really seen it out here is more, and more and more that I fish the river is that they're either gonna munch on that rage crawl or speed crawl, whatever it is, or they're gonna munch on that Senko. And so you really gotta toy around with it and, and try different baits to see what they're gonna eat the best on that day. But let's go ahead and get out here and start fishing some of these trees. Oh. See that bait's, he's got it. Look at him running. Golly, dude. That's not a bad fish at all. I'll take, I'll take him. I'll take him any day, boys. First fish of the day. Not a bad one. That's a, a pretty little fish, man. Pretty little Savannah River bass. On the old Texas rig right here. Right there. He's got you. Get him. He's running with the dog. Alan Bob just thinks he... Golly, man. Alan Bob. Take the hook out. Really? Yeah. You what? He's running with me now. Oh yeah. Golly, dude. Oh my god. Why is he fighting now? Or he's not a bad one at all. Yeah, I'm throwing black and blue. I got some June bug down there and I got some black and red. Here we go, baby. Second fish of the day. Alan Bob just almost had one too. We might be able to catch some right here. Ooh. 
I jacked him, I can tell you that. Now oh, that was a bass, dude. That was a solid eight. <laughs> He bent the crap out of that. <laughs> God. Oh my gosh, show that to the camera, dude. That's wild. Stupid fish, dude, I swear. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, nice. Dude, that's a, some mud fish? Oh, it's a mud fish. Yeah, I said it was. Dude, I thought it was a big fish for a minute there. <laughs> Probably like seven. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> oh, he ate it when I was reeling it. That's a big one. I thought I had a huge bass for a minute there. Catching dinosaurs, baby. You got him? Oh, God. <laughs> He's fighting hard, ain't he? Yeah. That little baby. A little fat one, though. There you go, man. There you go. <laughs> baby. baby. Another baby dude. He got, he's a little fatter, though. Yeah, a little fatter than the last one. The main reason why I'm talking about this today is because this is one way that you can really be really productive, especially when, it, I mean, this is something that's gonna work when the fishing's tough, when the fishing is really good. Either way, you're gonna be able to catch fish on this bait, especially when it's tough outside. And that's mainly why I'm going over this today because it is a tough day. I don't know if you guys can tell by the sky right here. If you could look up, it's a, uh, Bluebird skies today. I know I know the sun's not out right now because I am filming this a little bit later um, before the sun goes down. But what does fish do, especially I like it. I'm kind of weird. I like it when it's bluebird skies out here on the river. Mainly because when you're out here fishing the river, you're mainly fishing cover the whole time. You're usually throwing around these trees and these laydowns, these cypress trees, that whole deal. And Golly, you had me right there. I wasn't paying attention. But I usually like bluebird skies when I'm out here on the river because what it, what happens is, you know, that sun's out, there's no clouds in the sky, and those fish really get on the get on that cover, get on all those trees, all those laydowns, and it really makes it easy to target them in a way. And usually, you know, when those clouds are up, those fish are roaming so much and they're really munching. But out here on the river, it really scatters those fish a lot, and it's really hard to find them. Um, it's really hard to locate them rather than when that sky, when that sun's bearing down and those fish really tuck down in this cover and you can just throw, you know, simply a little Senko or a crawl just like this. So I actually haven't got a bite in quite a minute on that Senko, so I'm actually going to switch over to this little rage crawl. This is in black and red. As you guys can tell right there, little sexy rig. This thing smucks them, guys. If you guys are looking to catch some fish, just telling you, some juice. I promise you. So there's a few different ways you can work this bait and it's all gonna depend on the day, obviously, but I'm gonna teach you a few things that I usually do when you know fishing all these trees and everything with these Texas rudics. You throw your bait out there, makes this tree. As you can tell, there's a little tree right there, a little lay down right here in the water at the mouth of this little slough. And you know, I throw it out there and I can just drag it. Simple as that. It's just lifting up on the rod and just dragging that bait right across all that cover, right across all those trees. And that is probably one of the best ways, especially if those fish are really slow, is to just drag that bait. You'll get a lot of bites doing that. And some days they're gonna like it that way. And then some days you're gonna throw out there and they're gonna like you popping it. You know, they're gonna kinda like you wiggling the tip of your rod like this and those tails fluttering like that. And that's just gonna be, it's all gonna be on experimentation. I can't sit here and tell you guys to throw this bait on cover, do exactly what I'm telling you and you guys go catch fish. It just does not work that way. It's all gonna be, you guys taking you know the tips that I'm giving you today and applying them to your home lake or your home body of water or even a pond wherever it is and really trying all these different techniques and then when it's super tough because I've had it like this a lot when you, it's really hard to even buy a bite which today it is very hard and I'm surprised I haven't done it yet is I'll simply flip my bait out there let it hit the bottom obviously and I'll barely work this thing I mean I'll just Pretty much dead sticky. You know, my rod, I'm, I'm just barely dragging this thing every once in a while. You know, I kind of put my rod down, drink a couple sips of coffee, you know how it is, and then just slightly just kind of feel, see if there's fish there, drink a little more coffee, and uh, just keep doing that. And I promise you, if it's super tough now, you'll catch some fish on it. And then one other way, which is the Noah special, I've, I made a video over this, is actually, it, it sounds crazy, and you guys are gonna say I'm crazy, but I've actually had a few people come to me and say that this tip really helped them a lot. 
simply letting your bait hit the bottom. You tighten your you tighten your line, simply just start bopping into your rod. What that's doing is your bait standing still. It's, it's gonna slightly move just a little bit. What's that doing is your bait's nose down and those little crawl legs are up. And when you're tapping that rod, all those crawl, those crawl legs are just going like this and just wiggling. And it's just creating the slow, it's super slow. You know, that bait's sitting there the whole time, but it's giving that little bit of action so those fish are really, oh, they'll really tear that up. So that's something you need to take next time you go fishing, especially if it's really rough, just throw the bait out there and then it's just gonna nose down and when you're bopping into your rod, those tails are just gonna be fluttering. If you guys are having a hard time next time you're out there, definitely try that one. There you go. They're getting they're getting slightly bigger, right? Not too big, but they're 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 getting they're getting better every single time. That's the important part, right? Yeah. Free bass. Yo, what is up, people? It is actually the next day. I'm sitting here editing this video, and I had a few things I kind of wanted to talk about before this video ends. So, first thing I would like to say is thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. You know, that's why I do these videos is for you guys, obviously, and I just cannot thank you all enough. For the support and everyone who watches my videos every single time i upload also let me know if you guys want to see some more tip videos like this or any tip videos in general and if you do be sure to leave those below leave a comment below on what tip videos you would like to see next because i would love to do a lot of those because it seems that you like those and you uh it applies a lot of value so with that being said, as you guys know, the past two videos have been on the river. The fishing has been very rough on me wherever I go, whether it's been a pond, whether it's been the river, wherever it's been, it's been pretty rough, like every single time I go out. It's just, just this weather change has been really rough, and also, you know, the full moon last week really messed me up. <laughs> My, the days that I could fish were just the worst, and it was not running well. Well, I noticed a lot of comments saying that, you know, Noah got his boat back, now he's not going to make pond fishing videos, this, this, and that. Guys, I want you guys to know that this summer I actually did have my boat and I made pretty much all pond fishing videos because I realized that's what you guys like. And I'm here to post whatever you guys like, like whatever you want, literally. These videos are for you guys. Obviously, you know, I'm making them for the brand as well, but all in all, like comes down to the end of it, I'm making these videos for you guys and I want to post what you want to see. So that's what I need you guys to do in the comment section below for me is actually leave a comment on what you want to see. Like people say they want to see pond videos, but what type of pond videos? People say they want to see challenge videos, but like what type of challenge videos? That's kind of what I want you guys to do is leave more detailed comments in the comment section because it's getting a little rough on me. I've, I've filmed a lot of videos in the past year now and it's hard to layer it down because I've covered almost everything. At least it seems like it. I know I really haven't, but it seems like it. So if you guys have any ideas that you guys think would be killer and you would enjoy watching, be sure to leave them below. I just wanted to kind of go over that because I want you guys to know if you guys want to see pond fishing videos more, then dude, I will go do that. If you guys want to see river fishing videos more, I will go do that. It does not matter. Either way my channel is going to be you know spread across all different topics to have a well-rounded channel as in kayak fishing you know boat fishing tournament fishing um how to's pond fishing challenge videos i'll try to do like a whole thing of everything and that's really my main goal is to reach you know as many people as possible and show that you know i do all of this and tips in each subject and that whole deal but thank you guys so much for clicking on this video if you could please leave a comment below on what you guys really love seeing on my channel and what you guys enjoy thank you guys so much for the support and i catch you guys in the next video I got sky like the brother man, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with us, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh